Hey everyone, it's Michael with Sam. I'll show you how to use FileZilla with Amazon EC2. First thing you want to do is you want to open up your web browser and go to Amazon Web Services website, which is aws.amazon.com. I'll leave a link in the description. So once you're on the site, you can create a free account if you don't already have one already. Click on this orange create a free account button. You can sign in and leave your email address, select I am a new user, and AWS will send you an email to create your new account. But I'll just go ahead and sign in. Click on AWS Management Console, and I'll sign in with my username and password. So you'll be brought to the Amazon Management Console at the top right. You can select your location and I'll select US East because I live on the East Coast. On the left side you want to click on EC2 which is what we'll be using EC2 virtual servers on the cloud. You want to click on running instances so you can create a new instance. Once you're on this dashboard page you want to click on the blue button called launch instance It'll bring you to a series of steps to launch your instance. First step is to choose an AMI. We'll choose Ubuntu server for this specific instance. Then you can choose an instance type, but I'll leave that by default and choose a free tier. Click on next. On the third step, you can also leave this by default and click on next to add storage. Storage should be fine, so leave that by default and click on next. Then you come up across Tag Instance, which is also fine. At the Security Group settings, you want to create a new security group. I'll call it FileZilla, and I'll leave the description as FileZilla. We want to add a couple of different rules. We want to add a rule for HTTP, because I'm assuming that we're going to create a website for this server. And we're going to add HTTPS and a custom TCP rule with the port range 8080. So these four rules are the rules that you want. You want the SSH, HTTP, HTTPS, and a custom TCP rule. The port ranges are 22, 80, 443, and 8080. Then you can click on next. And you can launch your instance with the blue button. You want to create a new key pair. So we're going to name this key pair FileZilla. These key pairs are used for SSHing with a key and you must download your key pair so download that key pair you can only download it once and save it someplace safe then save after you save the PEM file you can launch your instance with that blue button and the instance will undergo setup and launching process if we go to the top left and hit the orange cube and go back to where we were at the dashboard go to EC2 then hit running instance we can see that the instance is being set up it's being booted and preparing for initialization so we'll head over and get FileZilla and move on to the next step to get FileZilla you want to go to this website it's called FileZilla-project.org on the front of the page there are two download links two gray buttons you want to click on the download FileZilla client on the client download page, you can click on the Windows Download Now SourceForge green button. If you have a different operating system, you can check for the additional download options. At the website that you get redirected to, you'll have an automatic download. And you can save this executable file anywhere. Once the FileZilla executable file is saved, you can click on it and run the setup. The setup prompt should pop up and you can run the installation. Hit next on this page. SourceForge likes to include extra programs and extra software that you won't need. So you can straight out deny these two extra programs or you can do what I do over here. Click advanced and make sure uncheck installations. For the next one though, they don't have an advanced option. So 
you just want to decline straight out. You don't want these extra programs and software because you don't need them. Finally, after these two extra programs, it says your download is complete and you can just go straight installed now. Hit that blue button and it brings you to the client setup. You can hit I agree, hit next, and FileZilla gets downloaded. After a few seconds, it completes and you can hit finish. You can start FileZilla now because by this time, AWS should be up and running that virtual instance should be ready to go which it is the green button says it's running so we're good to go now FileZilla you want to go to edit and hit settings at the settings page you want to hit SFTP which is down there click on it and you want to add the key file so the key file I called FileZilla.pem and we'll just find it on my desktop and click on it and open. You want to hit yes convert key file because .pem files are not supported and they require to be converted to .ppk files. So I'll just write the same name but with a .ppk extension and save that. Now you can hit OK, and now you're ready to connect with your virtual instance. So go back to the AW console dashboard for the EC2 instances, and make sure that you have your instance clicked and copy the public DNS. Once you have the public DNS copied, you can paste it to your host on FileZilla. The username for Ubuntu virtual instances is Ubuntu. And once you have that all set, the host and username, you want to add port 22 because that's the port we're going to connect to. So if a prompt comes up, you just want to hit OK on aborting the previous connection. And you want to click on OK to trust this host and trust the con to uh, connect to the virtual instance. Then you should be connected successfully. You can see the directory listing at the right side and you can copy files traverse through the virtual instance on the right side and bring files from your local directory to the virtual instance on the cloud so thanks for watching everyone hopefully this helped you use filezilla with amazon ec2